Hey guys, Sophia here with turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 Arnold Classic Pro Bikini and Wellness results. This was so good. It was so beautiful. The women all looked absolutely amazing. What an incredible weekend it has been in all of the women's divisions. These two were particularly exciting. I just can't believe it. It was so good. So exciting for Laura Lee and Isabel. So let's just get talking. In terms of Olympia, this is a big one. The Arnold is a tier one contest. So the winner qualifies. Second through fifth receive a lot of points. You can see them there. It's the second biggest show of the year. And then at the end of the qualification period, it's the top three in the points who all get to go to Olympia as well. So a huge show. The names, the the, the quality of athlete competing, this was so good. Every single one of the invited athletes was incredible. So beginning with bikini, the scorecard is very interesting. So in first place was Laura Lee, second Maureen, third Ashley, fourth Isa, fifth Jordan, and sixth Alessia. So typically when it's a unanimous decision of all of the judges, you'll see that the score will be five for first, 10 for second, 15 for third, 20 for fourth, 25, 30, 35, 40, on and on and on. And when we look at the score here, yes, Laura Lee had five. So she was in first place for sure. But Maureen had 12. So obviously there was some discussion about perhaps her or maybe Ashley in second, right? Ashley seems to have settled into that third place with 15, but Maureen wasn't quite at 10. So that's kind of interesting. Then in fourth place, you had Isa. That seems good. Uh, fifth place, Jordan with 27 and sixth, Alessia with 29. So Jordan and Alessia were very close as well. I think that's really cool. It's really interesting. It kind of helps to give you a bit of an idea of maybe what the judges were thinking. So exciting. Okay, so let's just look at the pictures. So here's Alessia in sixth place. Wow, her conditioning was crazy. She looked so lean. You really saw a line coming down the side of her leg. Her glute ham tie-ins were amazing. Her hamstrings had a really good outline. Her delts looked gorgeous. I think her posing looked really good. Very natural, very flowy. She looks really amazing. Uh, I thought this was fabulous for her to be that last athlete to get to have her picture in the award ceremony, the sixth place out of 10 amazing athletes. She looks really good. I do think that Alessia could have a little bit more size and shape in her arms, in her bicep and her triceps, just compared to some of the other girls in the lineup to really fill them out. But otherwise, she's so tall and long and lean and the conditioning was fabulous. Okay, next, Jordan in fifth. Again, tall, long, lean, just beautiful. Her suit was so pretty. Beautiful color, so sparkly. I love her short hair. It really shows off that gorgeous hourglass shape she has from behind. Very brave to show that much back, and she can do it. She looks absolutely beautiful. Her waist is so small, both in the front pose and in the back pose. Really impressive. I think she's got a really nice balance from top to bottom. Her shoulders are beautiful, a nice amount of curve to her lat and her small waist, beautiful shape to her glute. Um, I do think Jordan could have had a little bit more conditioning to show off more of the glute ham tie-in, more a little bit more detail. She's got the line coming, but it's not super deep. I think it could have been a little bit more. She could have had a little bit more abs showing, just a tiny bit more hardness. She has this beautiful fullness and roundness and a bit of a softness. And obviously it worked for her fifth place, but I think she could have had a tiny bit more detail. Overall, I though I think she was just absolutely beautiful. What a gorgeous fifth place. Okay, next in fourth is Isa. 
I am so happy for her. This is the Issa I think we have all been waiting for. She nailed it. She's the perfect size, not too small, not too depleted, not too large. Her her shape is phenomenal. Her legs look amazing. Her glutes are so full, so round, extremely big, particularly you'll see in a minute in the lineup compared to the other girls. Her glutes look fantastic. And she's brought back that amazing unbeatable undeniably um, gorgeous hourglass shape like the way she poses is insane so much lat such a tiny waist look at the detail in her obliques unreal and then a gorgeous glute i i was so happy to see isa looking this amazing once again her hair was perfect it's full it's covering just enough of her back to still allow you to see how small her waist is her delts popping out from the back look amazing I love the red suit her smile was vibrant and healthy and just I just was so impressed I thought she looked amazing this was so good to see her in the top Ugh. So good. I I think she looks really, really incredible. And she looks really good in the lineup next to Laura Lee as well. So a fabulous fourth for Isa. Okay, Ashley in third place. This was exciting. When they did the prejudging, they were moving the girls so many times. You weren't quite clear exactly where Ashley was going to end up. And she did so well. Her physique is amazing. She's really lean. Her abs are so tight and so small. Her whole stomach area is just impressive. Really, really beautiful detail. Her obliques are so sharp. Nice curve. Really nice hourglass here. And the, those glutes, you know, Ashley's glutes are show-stopping But she also has beautiful detail with this line. Her hamstrings look great. Her posing was on point. Her delts look really nice and round. From behind, she looks amazing as well. Her hourglass is so good. Really small waist, nice fullness in her upper body. She brought back the bouncy curly hair, which looks beautiful. Um, gosh, she looks so good. I love her glued ham tie-ins and beautiful definition in the back of her legs in these hamstrings. So. It was just a fabulous showing for Ashley. I did notice, I saw this in her story that uh, not long ago she was doing a photo shoot and she scraped her skin and you can see it just a little bit there on her glute. I can't imagine that had an effect on her placing, but it is definitely there. <laughs> Ashley, come on, girl. <laughs> but man, she looked so good. The suit was beautiful. Her posing was fabulous. It was amazing. Okay, Maureen nailed it. Oh my gosh. I think she has the most curve out of everybody. Beautiful shape to her legs on the back leg, on the back of her front leg. But what caught my eye the most was those delts, particularly in the evening show. I thought her delts looked even more crazy um, in the night than they did in the prejudging. Beautiful shape beautiful outline and then she's got a lot of mass in her lats so she just looks so full and muscular in her upper body and then her waist is so tiny beautiful obliques from behind I really see how gorgeously full her back is up here she's strategic with the hair it covers up just enough but it shows you how muscular she is in the back and so tiny in the in her waist just beautiful her hourglass is gorgeous I also love her hair her makeup is stunning she pulled in a little bit of the turquoise to her eyeshadow it was just beautiful as for her glutes amazing she is more petite in stature she's a shorter athlete compared to this lineup but she really holds her own her glutes are compact very round very full but still petite and beautifully balanced with her frame so I was so impressed beautiful posing she's so flowy just gorgeous and now Laura Lee in first place the moment so many have been waiting for she is such a favorite with everybody she just is so beautiful you know what I noticed about Laura Lee is her posing 
is amazing. Even her eyes, she looks down at the ground at the perfect moments. She's just so appealing. You want to cheer for her. You want her to do well. She's beautiful. Now, in terms of her physique, she really nailed it. She has the right amount of hardness, right? You're seeing beautiful obliques, great definition in her legs, a bit of detail in this back leg, nice definition in her hamstring here. Her delts look incredible. So she looks hard and yet she still has that beautiful softness. Her hair is flowy. Her posing is beautiful and natural. She just has so much stage presence. Her glutes are the largest, I think, on stage. But still, a, she still has that that smallness that you need for bikini. She's not overpowering in her legs. Her waist is small. Her delts look incredible from behind. So much size. The hourglass is crazy. So I just think she nailed it. Great conditioning, great size, great balance, beautiful proportions, and just an amazing presence. So a gorgeous first place for Laura Lee. Finally. Yay. <laughs> oh yeah, I wanted to do a shout out. Some of the athletes have been showing this photographer. He took the most incredible live video footage that I've ever seen of a show. So if you want to see these girls in HD, I encourage you to go find him. It looks like his name is Gilco Productions. Um, unreal, beautiful video footage. Okay, so here's everybody side by side. I am drawn, first of all, to Maureen. Her beautiful lats, that amazing amount of size in her upper body is gorgeous. Then I'm drawn to Issa and her hourglass shape. She's got so much fullness on the top of her glute, right? It's just unreal. That shape she pulls off is gorgeous. Of course, I'm drawn to Laura Lee and the size in her glutes. That beautiful shape she has on the bottom, I think, is really lovely. The Where it comes into the hamstring, her and Ashley, I think, have the most insane bottom parts of their glutes. Uh, really well defined. I think Alessia has some gorgeous abs, very lean. Jordan looks beautiful. She looks so upright, really posing nice. But maybe you can see what I mean about she could have a little bit more definition, a little bit more detail in the, the groove, for example, or a little bit more um, detail in her delts. But everybody just looks so stunningly beautiful. You've got nice amount of muscle in the arms. Look at Lorelei's biceps. It was just incredible. Ashley looks beautiful. Her suit is striking. Her lipstick looks lovely. It was so impressive. Everybody. And now from behind, oh my gosh, Laura Lee has the size. She has the glute ham tie-ins. Her glutes are long. Her legs are in a beautiful proportion. Her waist is so small. And then the delts are popping out on either side of her hair. Just gorgeous. Um... Maureen beside her has a completely different shape. Her, she's so much more petite and yet still perfectly balanced. Beautiful, tiny waist. I love the roundness in her glutes. But everybody across the board, the glutes are incredible, really great size tiny waists, the hair, everybody has great length, great fullness. I loved it. This was a fabulous top five. And I want to know what you guys had for your predictions based on what actually played out happening. I'm not sure if you saw my prediction video, but it went very well from who I thought would be in the top four. So I would love to hear if you guys were able to guess and predict your top four, top five, top six, whatever. Let me know in the comments. So in terms of Olympia, wow, this is crazy. So Laura Lee was already qualified. Maureen was way at the top. So now she's up to 22 points. Ashley was already qualified. Isa was already qualified. And Jordan was already qualified. Holy smokes. Okay, moving on to wellness. Oh, this was so good. So in first place, Isabel. Second, Angela. Third, Sunny. Fourth, Julia, fifth, Yurishna, and sixth, 
Cassandra. And you can see from the points, it was a lot more even. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, you get it. So the the judges saw everything, I, I think, kind of in the same way. The placings were a little bit maybe more simple than in bikini. And it was just show-stopping. Wellness has become so exciting. So starting with Cassandra in sixth place, wow, her glutes are incredible. When she stands to the side like this, you can't help but notice how beautifully outlined her whole glute is. Great legs. I love the detail in this back leg. Great size in her arms as well. When she's facing the back, you really notice the sweep in her quads. Nice size with her calves. Um, beautiful. The only thing I can think of for Cassandra is that her waist could look even smaller if she could somehow twist even more and get her arm to be even more facing the side. So really twist, bring this arm more forward and, and really show off how tiny her waist is. Um, but wow, she just has so much size, beautiful definition. I love all the outlines of her glutes and her hems and her quads just gorgeous. Okay, Yurishna in fifth. So I was surprised from a prediction standpoint that Yurishna wasn't higher up, but I wasn't surprised from actually seeing her compared to the other girls. She had beautiful size. She's so big. She's so muscular, but I did find her to be a little bit more soft than I expected. You're not seeing the crazy abs like you typically do. I thought compared to the other girls, you didn't see as deep of the glute ham tie-ins in the back. Her hamstrings are not maybe as outlined as they typically are. I'm wondering if maybe that was feedback she had received from another show was was perhaps to come in a little bit softer, but I think this was too soft. Um, not to say that she isn't extremely hard and extremely muscular. It was just in comparison to the other girls, I thought the conditioning was not as sharp. Now, otherwise, I think she looked beautiful. Her shoulders are gorgeous. Her obliques look really nice. Her posing is beautiful. The shape of her hamstrings, like she's got such a beautiful curve in her leg. I still think she did amazing and fifth place was fabulous. But I think you'll agree that fifth place was a fair position for her. But I know a lot of you guys really love Yurishna, so I'm expecting some comments. Let it out. Let me hear what you have to say. Okay, next in fourth was Julia. So Julia looks absolutely phenomenal from behind. She has so much size. She's got some beautiful sweep. It goes so high, her quads, way up into the area of her glutes. Her glutes are very large, nice shape, great ham tie-ins. Um, I think she's got a really nice amount of mass from behind. I'm not crazy about Julia's posing. I think she could look a lot more firm in this front pose. I think she could try to puff up a little bit more in her upper body, really, you know, fill up the lats, pull out her shoulder, really twist, really show off the size of her upper body. I find she looks a little bit too relaxed <laughs> in her posing. And also in the back, I think she's leaning forward a little too much. I would like to see her shoulders come closer to being upright. Um, I know it's hard because she's really trying to show off the glute ham tie-ins. So I, I am not saying that it's easy, but I, I also find the shoes to me are a little heavy. Um, I think she could go to the more clear style and it would just give her a bit more of a lightness. But with that said, she is still right here in fourth place because her body is beautiful. She's got a very small waist. Her glutes look amazing. She's got gorgeous hamstrings from the side. Um, nice amount of size in her arms, though I do think she could have even more shape to her delts. She could have a bit more uh, bicep and tricep, particularly compared to our first place winner. So we'll get there in a second. But overall, I think she did look beautiful. Um, and obviously, the judges love her because a fourth place is amazing. Okay, next is Sunny in third place. Her conditioning is just 
gorgeous. Like she almost has feathering in the be- in the front of this quad here. Like unreal, such beautiful definition. Her glutes look amazing. Her abs look fabulous. She's got great shape in her arms. Look at how much bicep and tricep she has here. Just gorgeous. Um, her posing was nice, really showing off the glutes. From behind, actually, I thought the commentators made a very good point. I thought the commentary of the entire show was just phenomenal, extremely classy, very informed. The discussion between the panel was beautiful. And one thing that Fuad mentioned was he asked, he suggested that from a balance perspective to look at the balance in her leg. So don't think about balance from top to bottom because this is wellness, right? It's not a particularly perfectly balanced physique from top to bottom, but the legs need to have some balance. And Fuad suggested that perhaps Sunny has overly large glutes in compared person to her quads and hamstrings. And he suggested that from the front, her glutes are overpowering. What do you guys think about that? Sunny has extremely large glutes. You see them when she's walking towards you. That is pretty crazy. But I do think that from behind, her quads are crazy good. So I'm not seeing an overpowering of her glutes from behind, but I do kind of agree from from the front. So let me know what you guys think. It was a really interesting observation. Um, I think she has a beautiful shape, so much size, I thought third place was really fair. She has a beautiful physique and really eye-catching. She's different than the other girls, and I love it. Very short, very compact, a lot of muscle. So a beautiful third place from Sunny. I think she did amazing. Okay, Angela in second place. Wow. So she has an amazing shape. Her arms look beautiful beautiful. Her delts look fabulous. Her lats, I thought, look really good. So she's pulling out that hourglass shape that we love to see. Her waist is so tiny, so vacuumed in, paper thin. And then the glutes are wild. Just what a shape. And beautiful definition. Like this line is crazy. You're seeing so much detail. In the back, you have great detail. Her glutes are so full and round. Beautiful glute ham tie-ins. Like Angela has a crazy physique. Extremely, I want to say exaggerated. Like her legs are really big. Her waist is super small. And then her upper body is really big. So very crazy proportions. You can't help but notice her. You look at her. She's eye-catching. She's so tall. But I think she did really good. Really great conditioning. Really great size. She looked beautiful, just not quite in that first place position. So look at our first place. Isabel, oh my gosh. When I saw her I was like, yep, that's it. First place. I I think she really deserved this. It was so beautiful. First of all, her posing is amazing. She is so natural. She is so beautifully flowy. She just floats across the stage. She's got such a beautiful stage presence. Beautiful smile, great hair. She doesn't touch her hair too much, but she does flip it just enough. She gets it to the back when she needs to. She moves it over when she needs to. Like she just is so lovely to watch. Then in terms of her physique, I think she has incredible proportions from top to bottom. Her arms have beautiful size, great delts, great lats, and it's a really nice balance and proportion to her lower body. So she's managed to have to create this gorgeous hourglass shape where the legs are not overpowering her whole physique. I don't know how she's done it because her legs are crazy big and her arms are not crazy big to match, but somehow it's a beautiful proportion. So I love it. I think her legs are gorgeous. She's got so much detail. The definition is so good. Great outline, beautiful definition in the hamstrings, such curves. Her glutes look fabulous, not overpowering on her frame, 
great glute ham tines from behind. You see the delt popping out from her hair. So she's just got this crazy hourglass. She's just beautiful. What can I say? I thought she nailed it. She really nailed it. Okay, here's everybody side by side. First of all, I'm drawn to Isabel. I think the conditioning in her legs is beautiful. Her She's so 3D. Her quads really are popping out of her leg. The glutes look beautiful and that shape, the hourglass, her posing, phenomenal. Next, I notice Angela, a close second. You know, she has a beautiful shape as well. Her glutes are crazy. Like, what is this shape? Unreal. That little dip she gets at the bottom. Wow, that's so good. Um, maybe you'll agree with me that Julia could firm up her posing a little bit. She's not quite as solid as the rest. Um, Yurishna in this photo looks really hard and really good. I think this back leg looks beautiful, but I don't think she has as much detail. Compare Yurishna to Isabel, right? Um, I think Sunny beside Isabel looks beautiful, great size. Her glutes really pop. And then Cassandra, wow, beautiful arms, great upper body. But I do think, again, that her waist could look a little smaller um, compared to, you know, Isabel and Angela. So overall, what an amazing top six. And from behind, Angela's glutes stand out for sure. They're so compact, very round. Um, Isabel's glutes have a different shape. They're longer. The glute ham tie-ins go a little deeper. Uh, I think you really notice the hourglass shape on Isabel from behind. Sunny next to her has some crazy sweep to her quads. Julia's glutes are very large, very full. Um, again, I don't feel that she's posing quite right. Her shoulders look a bit more pinched in. But the, the shape of her legs looks beautiful. Yurishna's glutes and legs look amazing. Um, and Cassandra, I'm loving the sweep of her quads. Though I do notice that her quads are more out closer to the knee and not so much out up here. For example, compared to Angela. Different, right? Everybody is so unique and so beautiful in their own way. But I really do think this was fair and that Isabel really deserved this. So in terms of Olympia, this was crazy. Another stacked lineup. Isabel was already qualified. Angela was already qualified. Sunny was already qualified. Julia was at the very top already. And Cassandra was already qualified. Holy smokes. Okay, guys, that's it for the Arnold. But we have three more shows coming up this month. The Boston Pro, the Caribbean Grand Prix, and the Muscle Contest Rio. So I will be back with recaps of all of those shows as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those notifications. Give me a like if you like this video. And comment below with how your predictions turned out. Did you do well? Did you get any of these winners? This whole Arnold was really incredible. I cannot wait for your comments. Come find me at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.